announcement I never expected to make. It's almost like a badly written movie. An unknown virus coming from the east, taking over country by country, affecting people and causing death to some of the immune compromise. Apart from the chaos created, it's also caused a mass panic, fear and hysteria. It has affected how we live, how we think and how we behave. After an in-depth consultation with my Amity team, we wanted to reassure you that Amity will be open for business as usual. There are precautions that has been instilled. The door handles leading into the practice will be clean every hour with a vericidal cleaner. And hand sanitizers like this will be made available on the front desk and the consult rooms. We will space the consults such that you would usually be the only pet owner here. Please do not turn up at the practice unannounced. You can ring the practice or make appointments online. This will allow us to gauge how many people are present at any one time. Emergencies will of course take priority. Any members needing flea, tick, worm treatment can call or email the practice for them to be delivered to you. It is recommended that routine vaccinations or non-essential uh, medical checkups to be postponed for now. If you're not sure if you need to be seen by a vet, please do contact us. The virus is here. The situation is real. There is not much you can do about it. Life gives no one immunity against adversity or viruses, but life gives to everyone the power of positive thought, which is sufficient to master all circumstances of adversity and convert them into benefits. How can we remain positive in these trying times? If you allow me, I would like to share with you a way that has allowed me to face such moments. The secret is gratitude. The attitude of gratitude is paramount. Gratitude is simply feeling thankful. The habit of gratitude can greatly help the feelings of inner peace and improve self-awareness. It connects us to the present moment, uplifts our spirit and feeds our heart. It is also the antidote to fear. You simply cannot feel gratitude and fear at the same time. It doesn't mean settling for less or not making every effort to take safety precautions. Quite the opposite. It is appreciating, loving what we have while dreaming of the future when we'll be safe again. Life throws us curved balls from time to time, some small, some large. We may not be able to choose what situations may bring, but we can certainly choose how we think. No matter what, or how we think, the external world remains unaffected. However, our internal world is ours to decide. If we have forgotten to be thankful to our lives, our family, those that surround us, our achievements, our failures, and our unpursued dreams, now is the time to rectify that. Tell them, tell ourselves, write them a letter, proclaim it, Announce it. We may be fearful and stressed only if we allow it. We may lose loved ones. We may fall sick. Businesses may be affected. And what we took for granted may be taken away from us. Our lives will be changed directly or indirectly. There is no doubt about that. Only last weekend, I was in a usually busy like man Japanese restaurant in Totnes. And it was as dead as a doornail. I spoke to my friend who runs it and she's worried about closure. Small businesses like Amity that rely on daily footfall and turnover are affected greatly. It is certain that many businesses may fail and shut down because of this. Just like in Singapore where hundreds of restaurants have closed since January. Social distancing is healthy. Emotional distancing is not. Be mindful, be kind. Mary, my 80-year-old friend, was doing her shopping last week and she received plenty of comments and looks from strangers about her being out and how she should have stayed at home. It is hard to think that her life is detected by her age. She can't stay at home indefinitely. Remember, 
that there are still many things in the world that deserve our concern, our energy, and our time. The virus has done enough damage by taking many lives around the world already, and may continue doing so. Let's not give it permission to cause more harm in our internal world, our mind. Keep the faith. Be grateful. Take care of yourself and take care of those around you. Balance living like there is no tomorrow with behaving like you live forever. Wishing you all the best in health, heart, mind and soul. Be safe. Thank mm-hmm. you.